All right, I think I'm going to start this one off by answering some more questions, shall I? Uh, let's see. And we're actually finally getting some, uh, you know, decent ones. So, this one just says, Don Free, how are you? Um, yeah, not bad, actually. Um, yeah, not bad. I mean, obviously, you know, things things are looking up. So, yeah, um, I don't know. How else do you answer something like that? Uh, what's, have you opened the box yet, Don Free? Um, no, unfortunately. Uh, but, uh, we have found a little bit more information. It is definitely six notes, or a six-note combination to open it. So, hey, at least that's something, right? Unfortunately, they still won't give me any more information about the box. Uh, it's just one of those things, you know? Well, at least we got something out of it. It's kind of like a nice little um, compromise for everyone, isn't it? i um, got another one here. Uh, is your relationship with Tom and Billy now back to normal? Well, I mean, it kind of already unofficially was. I mean, when there's a point where you just go, yeah, officially things are back to normal now, you know. I mean, it's something you don't just go and outrightly say. It's just, yeah, it's, like, it's kind of like, um, you know, uh, I don't know. Let me give an example. See if um, you're dating someone. How long do you need to date before you become boyfriend and girlfriend, or girlfriend and girlfriend, or boyfriend and boyfriend, or whatever other combinations there are? You know, wh when is there a point where you can officially say, yep, we're in a relationship now, a committed relationship? Uh, when is the point where you can actually, you know, say that? I mean, it obviously takes a while for you to both sort of assure, or you could just ask the other person, you know, it's, it's kind of like that kind of thing, I'm going to assume, I'm guessing, I think, I don't know, I'm not quite sure myself, uh, here's a one, how is the food at USP, well, <sighs> blandish, I mean, a lot of it looks like just white, uh, plain cauliflower, to be honest. Because, uh, and to be honest, with most of the foods, the flavour and that is just sort of added artificially. It's just mainly just one basic food that looks and has the same sort of texture as cauliflower. But, uh, you know, they, they can add different flavours and that to it. Although, generally, the flavour, when they do add the flavour to it... And you can choose what flavour you like, generally. Uh, it's just generally around the outside of it. You know, just around the rim, not the inside. So, generally the best thing to do is to either mush it all up or chop it up and that. And then add more of the flavouring to it. it. I mean, they don't like you doing that because they say, obviously, you're using more of the flavour. And then, you know, it's all wasteful and that you don't need that much. I mean... Come on. Come on, if I've got to eat this bland stuff and that. I mean, it is, to be fair, it is included for free. So I'll give it that, it is free. But, you know, I wouldn't pay for it anyway. But it's, it's just, yeah, I mean, come on. You can't think on an empty stomach. And it's true, you can't because well, whenever you've got an empty stomach, you're all, the only thing you can think about is food. So, obviously, you know, you've got to be fulfilled. You've got to fill up your stomach with food and sustenance. Although you don't want to fill it too much because then if you overeat, then, uh, well, then you feel a bit sickly and then the only thing you can think about is not being sick. So, there is a, a nice perfect balance. It's the same with everything. Just have a nice little balance and that between things. And then you seem to, you know get on with things better and everything seems to go a lot better and a lot smoother.
than it otherwise would have done. Uh, I've already answered that. I've asked the same question again. Asked, just, literally, okay. Notes for every single person putting a comment on anything. You know, have a fucking look at what other people have put, alright? Just have a quick moment of your day. Just take a few fucking seconds to have a look. Just to check. I mean, especially when you've literally put the same fucking comment as someone else just above that person. Like, literally, just have a look for a second. And also, uh, have a quick look to see if your question, you know, has already been answered. Already been asked before. You know, just, just, just take a second. Yeah, you know, just, just a little second. I mean, come on. Yeah. I might... Uh, you know what, you know what? I should just record all of my answers and that for a bunch of questions and then just have a questions and answers link and then if anyone asks the same question again, you can call them a fucking idiot and then send them the link to all of the answers. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I should do that. I should do that. That's a good idea. Tell you what, after this, that is exactly what I'm going to do. Let's see, is there any that I haven't answered yet? Ah! Donfrey, you seem a bit calmer now. I reckon this podcast is uh, actually calming you down. Yeah, I think it is. I mean, you know, I'm not going to lie. I, I'm not going to say... Oh, it's 100% gone and that. Oh, hell, even, you know, 80% gone. I'd say, well, I'd say I've calmed down, I'd say at least 30, 40% at least. You know, give me give me that as a minimum, come on. I would say that, I would say I've calmed down at least that much. Um, He says, but I'm unsure about your depression. And you also have OCD, or do you not anymore? Um, those are things that I, yeah. Well, they're things that are harder to talk about. I mean, anger issues, everyone has anger issues. You know, in some shape or form, every single person does. And depression. Everyone has a sort of mild form of depression, or a mild form of OCD. Everyone has it. Everyone has it. It's, it. You know, you can say that you don't have it, you know, you, you're clinically proven to not have it. Although, really, everyone does. Though, it's the quantity that you have. I mean, some people, everyone, you know, feels down and feels like they're worthless and miserable and that sometimes. But everyone, even the happiest person on Earth or in the entire universe would feel that. But... You know, it is still there. It's just the quantity in which you feel it. And, well, obviously, since everyone's different, some people feel it in a sort of higher dose. It's just... It's just things that you can't really explain. And, to be honest, I'm sick of people when they say, Oh, I understand. I understand exactly what you're feeling. Don't. Never, ever, ever do that. Especially if you don't, you know, clinically have depression or whatever sort of illness that you're trying to conform with someone else. No. Okay? You do not understand. You do not understand. You can try and help, sure, but do not say those words, I understand, I know how it feels. Because you don't. No one does. They are a different person from you like even if you both have depression on high levels you don't know what that other person is feeling you don't know if it's affecting them in the same way that it is affecting you it could you know their depression could be incredibly different to how you feel I mean it's just hard because no one thinks exactly the same everyone thinks and acts completely different from each other so all you can really do is sort of 
just, I don't know, be there for each other and just help each one out. But you're never going to fully understand what someone's going through in their head. Even if you think you do. I mean, it's, it's, it's just complicated, you know? Just, it's complicated. But hey, anyway, that's uh, enough of going uh, deep into that. Because if I talk about stuff like that for too long, then I start to feel pretty shit myself. So hey, why not um, talk about something else, eh? Tell you what, um, tell you what, I'll talk about another one of my days at USB, eh? Yeah. I mean, like, this is mainly what these podcasts are about anyway, but, you know, uh, something to clear my mind a bit, because, to be honest, I am feeling pretty shishy at the moment, so yeah, I'll, I'll do that, I'll clear my mind on that, okay. Right, let's go. Right, um, let's see, let's see. Okay, so, mentioning about the box before. Uh, well, they did, you know, they they still have the box. We haven't received it uh, back. They're still trying to find out more things. So, there isn't really, you know, there wasn't any more attempts uh, to open it yet. And, to be honest, I don't know, it's just... We need to find out more stuff about it. I, I, I would just like to know why they are so desperate and that for it to be opened and just what at least they think that is inside or something. I don't know. It's just going to find out more stuff, isn't it? But anyway, uh, in the meantime, we were told that we should go on a training course uh, to pretty much build our skill levels and that since they realized that uh they basically sent us into the field with no you know thorough training whatsoever so that's what me me bill and tom did we went on a training course the first um thing that we did was a bit of target practice and the weapons you know they gave us some standard uh laser guns or laser weapons and uh just pretty much shoot the targets but, um, you know, you'd think that with me having more enhanced vision and that and sort of my reflex skills and that being, you know, better than a human being's, not amazingly better, you know, not we're not talking about, you know, a 100% better kind of thing. I, I would say about 20%-ish better than a human being's-ish, 10 to 20%. At the most, but you know, but the thing is, uh, just because you do have naturally better reflexes and better vision and that doesn't mean you're gonna be uh, very good at shooting a target, as I found out. In fact, uh, I'm pretty um, crap at it, to be honest. Now, dodging fi- firearms, you know, avoiding being shot and that, getting out of the way and that, I'm good at that, but. Uh, Actually, aiming and shooting. Um, no, I'm. I've got to be honest. I'm pretty terrible at that. And so was Tom, and so was Billy. All three of us were, I think, equally bad at it. Uh, I think, to be honest, I think it's because obviously we grew up, you know, in the UK in that, and where guns are uh, pretty much non-existent at all. Not even the police carry them. So, you know, I guess if we lived in, like, for example, if we lived in America, you know, no no offence, but, you know, it is true, you know, most of you have guns, or at least it's easy for you to get one. But, uh, you know, we, we obviously, I never even held a regular, you know, gun from Earth. I never even held one in real life. So, to be given... An energy weapon, ho ho ho, I mean, 
you know, just what do you do with that? Well, uh, basically, to sum up how bad we were at it, there was basically levels 1 through 10 on difficulty. 10, uh, on level 10 was obviously the hardest, and level 1 was obviously the easiest. And basically, the way it was is that uh, level 1, the target is about um, 6 feet away from you. And then it gradually moves further and further back. And also, uh, once you get to somewhere like levels 8 through 10, the target is not only further away, but it's also moving around and is uh, smaller as well. So, but uh, basically, level 1, obviously, we dig level 1 easy. And that, I mean, we may not have gotten a full bullseye, but we got good at we were good enough. I mean, to be honest, I think if you feel level one at a target that is literally six feet away from you, I think there must be something wrong with you. But, you know, I mean, unless you've got a, a valid excuse, then basically you should be able to hit that, to be honest. I mean, I could probably hit that target with my hand in reaching distance if I stretched out far enough. Level two doubled that to 12 feet. And 12 feet, a little bit more, more devil again, perfectly fine. Level 3, stepped it up a fair bit to 30 feet. Still, you know, tight was the same size, and this is where it's just like a bit, oh dear. But uh, managed to hit it within the parameters of how many uh, shots we had. Basically, we had uh, three shots in order to hit our target, so, you know, obviously... I've, and then when you got to level 4, it's where things got increasingly more difficult. We got. So, level 4, it increases to 60 feet away. And this is where we utterly feel. So, we managed to get to level 3 out of 10. To be honest, I'm going to be honest. I don't think we did it too awfully for us. Obviously, we need tons more training and that on it. But, you know... I be nice, be fair, that that was good for us. Come on. For people who have never even held a gun before. You know, that that is something good. I mean, to be honest, British people, we all go, ooh, whenever we see a real gun. You know, like, for example, um, I remember when I was little and uh, I was at uh, the airport airport i was going on holiday at the time i was only about um i think i must have been about seven years old and i just went absolutely mental when i saw uh in the security section there was two armed guards in the uh airport security section to say i was just like oh my god they got guns they got guns they're real oh my god oh i mean to you know basically like any other kid in the world, basically, in any other parts apart from the UK, you know, would just see... Because it wasn't even a huge thing, it was just like a small one, it was a small pistol sort of thing. I, I wasn't quite sure because uh, it was in its holster, but, you know, any other kid from any other part of the world would just look at that and not even think twice. But obviously, you know... British children, it's like, oh my god, it's a real guy, oh my god, it's because something we, we're just not used to, it's just something we don't generally see on day-to-day -day basis. I mean, don't get me wrong, I am th thoroughly glad that guns are banned within the UK, to be honest, uh, because, you know, some people argue that uh, guns don't kill people, people kill people. Well, yeah, but a gun... Okay, you could argue saying a gun is just a tool. The thing is, no, it's not a tool. A gun is not a tool, it is a weapon. It is specifically made to kill someone. That is its purpose. That is its only purpose. Like, for example, a knife... Okay, you could, you could say, well, a knife is a weapon. You know, a knife can kill someone. It's true, but... The thing is, though, I mean, depending on what type of knife it is, a knife is multi-purpose. You can use a knife for multiple things. Like, for example, 
you can use a knife to cut up a steak and that you can use a knife to chop some onions you can use a knife to cut a rope you know it's it's made for multi-purpose multiple things but going to just make for one thing kill someone that's it uh okay tell you what tell you what i'll give you a give you a better example a better synopsis of this okay Lex, okay, so, let's just say someone, some crazy guy wants to go and murder people, you know, there's some crazy guy, you know, can't reason with him, he just go, wants to go and kill some people. Now, let's say, you've got the, op- you've got the option, okay, he can either ha- have a knife or a gun. If he has a knife... Well, basically, he has to go right up to people to stab them or slit their throat or whatever. You know, he pretty much, he has to be right next to them. But with a gun, he doesn't have to be. He can be a nice, lovely distance away and shoot them as long as he's a good shot. And that he can be a far, far distance away, depending on the range of the gun. So the thing is... uh, you know, guns make it easier to kill and wound people. Do you see where I'm coming from here? It makes it easier to do so. It's like, um, tell you what, it's like basically when you need to work out how much you're spending on a food shop. You know, basically, you go to a supermarket and that you have your list and you try, you can work, you could probably work out in your head how you know, how much you've spent on that and how much money you need to pay. Or you could just reach into your pocket, use your phone and use the calculator on your phone. I mean, it's a, it, you're doing the same job in the end, but one of them is far easier and far quicker than the other. Yeah, I, th- I think, yeah, I quite like that example. Though I do also think that's the weirdest synopsis I've ever used to compare guns to. But anyway, the next thing that they did that actually I was uh, pretty good at. Um, Tom was as well, but Billy wasn't. And the next and this thing was basically reaction and reflexes. I was the best at that, to be honest. Uh, I'm always sort of on edge about things and and that you know. I'm constantly thinking about different and things and things just flowing through my head. I mean, when I look at at a room, when I go in a room, you know, I uh, just scan the room mentally, you know, I look at every single thing, and I notice every single little detail, and that's, I mean, it it does come in handy, for example, um, when you're, like, looking for something in a shop, I can just quickly look over the entire room and that, and, you know, just go, just like, is that thing I want? Nope. Moving on. Is that the thing I want? Nope. Nope. Just like, quickly, you know, pan over the room. And that, and obviously, with better vision than I had when I was just human, then, obviously, that does help. Billy, you know, I mean, Billy wasn't awful. And that, he wasn't awful. Um, This was, again, another level 1 to 10 thing. And, uh... I actually uh, managed to get up to a level eight, so I'd say I'd say that is remarkably good. Um, Tom managed to get to um, level level six, so that was well on him. Uh, Billy, he got to a level four. He was so close to completing a level five, but uh, just not quite. We were then given a case scenario where we basically... It was basically Cluedo, <laughs> to put it bluntly. Uh, find who the murderer was, was what we had to do. We were given, like, a scenario with suspects and that, and just, you know, deduce who was, uh, you know, the most likely murderer, who was the most likely suspect in that. And, um... Well, that was Tom's turn to fully excel at things. The main Tom sort of combined each other on that. I mean, we were given pictures. I would basically uh, look at the pictures and look at every single little detail and then 
anything you know i i will point out everything to him and he would find out stuff like that he's he's good at that he's good at uh sort of like finding out stuff about people about with you know small details details on that i think billy was feeling a little bit left out because he wasn't particularly brilliant at that however he would be good at the next thing and the next thing that we were doing uh was basically we were tied up and we basically had to escape and i have no idea how he managed to do this but billy managed to get out of uh, basically these ropes that we were tied in in literally like less than a minute I mean, to be honest you know me and tom were sort of wriggling trying to get ourselves free in that and then we just sort of stopped in amazement at how the hell he managed to just get out so fast and I did ask him afterwards, you know, how on earth he was able to do this. And he just said, I have restless nights. It's just like, it's amazing, man. It was just amazing. But, you know, that was our last little bit of introductory, that's what it's called, introductory training for now. I mean, we'd have to go back and do some more later on than that. But, you know, it was something to pass the time at least and... Something that we still, you know, got paid for. So, yeah. Other than that, not an awful lot to talk about, really. <sighs> but, you know... You know what, I haven't said this in a while. I hope you've enjoyed this podcast. And I hope you've been enjoying them as a whole. It's been feeling, you know, a bit more relaxing. Wait, it's, it's, good, it's good for me to get... Some scuff off my chest, you know, and it, I think it's very healthy in the way in which that I am doing it. So, yeah, I've been Don Free Doncaster, and thank you for listening to my podcast. <laughs>